I'm in a non sen. I'm in. I'm in the bath. Oh. Wow. This place is actually really old, nice. I mean, the water is hot. <laughs> but it's so nice. Hot and nice. And I'm here for 40 minutes. Super, 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 super nice. Okay, so I guess let's talk about my game. <laughs> Research. This is all for research. This place looks old. I don't know if the wood's been changed over you know, hundreds of years, but apparently this this Rokan, that's what they call this like a Japanese very expensive hotel. And, and it's specifically to cater you in the most traditional Japanese way ever. So you get breakfast and you get dinner and they serve you at a specific time. You have to wake up at a specific time. Enjoy everything and so and so. And, you know, we had lunch together, or, or dinner. I showed you guys dinner and stuff like that. And, I can't think. I'm too relaxed. <laughs> I'm way too relaxed. Oh, I. You know, I came here specifically for this bathtub style. Everything wood, like a giant bath like this, and just soak in the traditional stuff. Oh, wow. I'm too relaxed, I can barely think. Okay, so, video game, let's see. Research. I'm here for research. Not to enjoy, <laughs> for research. <laughs> uh, the food is nice. Bath. Is nice. Okay. Give me a moment to, to focus. <laughs> oh, at least my allergy's gone. Hot water's nice. It cleared that up. Um. Okay. So. Research. Okay, so in my game, it's a Spirit Away type game, and when I first started the game, I had no idea how to create a bathhouse, like in Ghibli film, uh, and so I watched the movie and I tried to take reference from it, but still, uh, it was kind of hard because I couldn't embrace the culture. I was looking at, I was looking through a second lens. And now I'm looking at a first viewpoint. You know, my own experience going through all of this, of what it feels like to go to a bathhouse, get treated, get pampered and stuff like that. And um, the experience is 
very much different from what I see in the movie. And from Ghibli, you know, you don't get that experience. You just kind of have to survive, you know. Um, and you have to work. But this, it's, it's a completely different experience. So I think when I make my game, when I fully think about how the bathhouse is going to be, I will keep the style, the traditional style of wood-like features, because that's, that's so Japanese. The bath like this, you know, the wooden block, or not wooden block, but wooden tub, you know, like this, that's so nice. And I understand why Miyazaki made the bath into a giant, I don't know what this called, but I'm just gonna say like a giant um, wooden tub. And that was very creative of him to do that. Because as a game designer, like I'm thinking as a game designer right now, this right here is too traditional, too Japanese and not enough fantasy in a video game. And so, I would need to really see the bathhouse in a different light, different perspective than what I see right now because this is like the roots of it and I can just pick what I like, what it needs, what the game needs and what the game doesn't need. And And right now, the game needs this long, giant bamboo that actually pours hot water to this bathtub. And, and I believe the water is taken out from a river, a nearby river up in the mountain. Drink comes down. They go through a filtration system. And it gets boiled, pushed back here. I get to enjoy the hot onsen. Right, so... I've been to another Rokon, but it's a former Rokon. I didn't. I just checked out the building and stuff like that. It was a. It was like a ticket injury. It's like a museum. And so, I went to that Rokon, and it was so fun to explore, because there were four levels to this Rokon, and and it was maze-like. It, the center is like a square, and you can actually move like this and then the next level would be a square you can move and you have rooms and you can explore another level more square and at the top is an observatory that you can see around the city which is which was nice i didn't know that rokans can have like an observatory like that 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 was really nice um so i think from that rokan i understand that this the game needs to be very explorative, like very exploration heavy. Uh, opening a door and discovering something new is really fun because it was fun for me when I explored that Brokkan for the first time. So if I can capture that, I would, I think it would be like immersive for you guys. Like it would be experiencing a Brokkan for the first time uh, for you guys, uh, it needs to have that exploratory feature, but because I'm a game designer, I won't have this simple layout. I'll have more complex layouts and more interesting stuff uh, to do in it. So from all of this experience, it's, it's, a, it's a nice it's a nice experience to have because if I didn't go through this, the game would have been entirely different. It would be, uh, it would be like, like a knockoff of a Spirit Away, you know, game. 
it, it would totally be a spirit a knock off a spirit away game because right now I am planning to do a 2d um, 2D type where you transfer screen, black screen, transfer a new map, transfer a new map, but that's not going to cut it because the Rokon I experienced, it had multiple interesting rooms that I can just explore and it felt like it had to be in 3D, but my game engine is very good in 2D, so I would have to think how the game will be designed in 2D, but with the feeling of a nice Rokon 2D explorative feature. And it's not gonna be a platformer. It, it just, it won't cut it. Platforming, no, it's, it's not gonna have platform at all. And you know, that side-scrolling 2D, I don't think that's gonna cut it either. So I have to be very I would have to engineer something new. Something that blends 2D and 3D to get that, oh, I can see this. Oh, I can turn right and see this. I, I would have to explore that very much. I, I, I'd have to think about that a lot. So that's the one thing that I learn and take away from all of this. Let's see what else. Um, Also, let's see, the service is really nice. Everything is good. Um, oh, let's see, another takeaway. I'm too relaxed, I can't think. Ah, another takeaway, wooden place, wooden, everything is wooden. I've noticed the wooden aspect. I've noticed that there is rooftop within the halls, which is, really interesting and really nice so I feel like the Rokan was trying to make it like feel that each room is its own house that's what I felt like because it had like a roof over its head so I think I can push that to a next level uh, making it feel more cozy more homey for every room you visit um, let's see what else So far, I think, I think those are the two big takeaways I have experienced that changed my um, entire game design perspective from my original concept. Oh, this game is big. Also, I've realized that the animation needs to be higher in quality. Well, that's going to be a heavy on the budget but it's worth it because it's not a platformer. It's like a walking simulator with the animation needs to be so good and so top notch. That's gonna be, that's gonna be quite, quite a, quite the budget I'm gonna spend, I think. I know how much I'm gonna spend the animation. Just going for like a 30 FPS, just a walking animation could take like two weeks. Just in 2D, from what my artist told me. I'm oh, too relaxed. So nice, too relaxed. I don't even know how much time I have left. I don't know, maybe 10 minutes? 10 minutes? Um, oh, it's nice. So, so, so nice. Very hot, but very nice. All right, what else can I talk about in 10 minutes? Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, my other trips so far. I've been to Nico. Nico is very, very wonderful. It was so beautiful, so astonishing. The trees were ginormous, like 50 times bigger than me. Very tall, very, very shrine-like, very Japanese. I 
I love that place so much. It was so big. There is so much that I can take away from just going to Nico. The trees, the environment, the little details. Like as a game designer, I need to look at textures because little details are really important in the game. It helps create immersion. So I was looking at the moss. I was looking at the stone steps. I was looking at um, the colors of, um, of, the, of the gates. I was looking at uh, the functionality of the gates. I was looking at dark places. I was looking at you know, objects in the, the shrines, everything. And it was nice. And outside of Nico, it was really nice too, but the shrine was very, very nice. I can understand why people recommended that. I can understand why a lot of Japanese kids would go to that uh, place because it's a history. It's a very important cultural history for them. And um, there's a lot more places I'm going to go to. I'm, I'm going to go to Ise, another shrine that's highly recommended. And then I'm going to go to Koyama, which is a graveyard mountain. I must go there because my game is about spirits. Everyone's already dead. So I need to go to that graveyard, take pictures, and I'm gonna go to Hiroshima. I'm gonna see the giant Tori gate out in the ocean, but I have to go there in the morning for low tide. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go there. It's in Hiroshima. I'm gonna go to Kanazawa and see the Geisha district. I'm gonna go to Nagano, see the snow monkey. Snow monkey, you know, taking a bath. That's part of my research. I gotta understand their behavior and stuff like that. It's important that I understand animal behaviors. Not a lot of people give thought to this, but it helps build immersion in the world and stuff like that. And it helps me create the character of the monkey so I can, you know, Imagine what it's like if you know that monkey had human-like features. So I, I want it to be distinguishable from like Wu Kong, you know, from that monkey. And then what else am I gonna go to? Um, I think that's all the places I'm gonna go. It could be more. Oh, Kyoto, I'm going to go to Kyoto, and I'm going to see quite a bit more shrines. Ah, uh, I can't think. Uh, what are I going to do in Kyoto? I'm going to see shrines, I'm going to see a shrine that has like a very large platform, uh, a balcony. It's famous for that. And then some other shrines, and then around Kyoto, and then what else am I going to do? Osaka, I'm gonna check that out. Ah, Nagoya, I'm gonna see uh, Nagoya, the castle in Nagoya, and I'm gonna see a castle, a, like an hour train ride from Osaka, and that's top rated as well. And it kept its wooden design and everything, so I gotta research that wooden design so it could help me establish some of the Rokan features in, the, in my game. So yeah, a lot of a lot of things to explore. Okay, I think I'm done. I am too hot for this and my mind's kind of whew. So I'll talk to you guys in the next episode.